Human beings need oxygen and air pressure in order to live. Breathing enables the oxygen in the atmosphere to reach the air sacs in our lungs. With increasing altitude, however, atmospheric pressure goes down as the atmosphere becomes thinner. Therefore, the amount of oxygen declines and it becomes harder to breathe. As the air sacs grow narrow and contract, we feel as if we cannot breathe. If the amount of oxygen in the blood is less than the body needs, several symptoms emerge, such as extreme fatigue, headaches, dizziness, nausea, and loss of judgment, just to list a few. When a certain height is reached, it finally becomes impossible for a human being to breathe at all. This is why we need oxygen bottles and special clothing in order to survive at such elevations. Someone at 5,000 to 7,500 meters above sea level may faint and go into a coma because of breathing difficulties. That explains the presence of oxygen equipment in airplanes. The difficulty experienced in breathing with increasing altitude gives rise to a contraction in the chest and a feeling of tightness. This scientific fact is revealed thus in the Quran. When God desires to guide someone, he expands his breast to Islam. When he desires to misguide someone, he makes his breast narrow and constricted as if he were climbing up into the sky. That is how God defiles those who do not believe. The inhabitants of the Arabian Peninsula in the 600s had, of course, no means of flying in the air or climbing mountains, or climbing mountains thousands of meters high to permit them to experience the shortness of breath referred to in the Quran. Yet this information was given to Muslims in our exalted scripture, the Quran, a clarification of everything.